I really want that, and y'all already know why. Play the clip. Because I'm a fat boy. But I'm not going to do it. No carbs till tomorrow. I'm starving. It is a cafe that I have. Why in the world did my voice just crack like that? How are you this morning? How are you? I'm good. Sabai di mai. Sabai di ka. Kung chu arai. Chan chu pon. So her name is Pon. Yes. And what do you do here, Pon? I am a teacher. Chan pen ku. I never know what I might do in the future. 97X, the future of rock and roll. <laughs> What's going on, friends? It is a cloudy and dreary day out here in Pattaya. I'm on Beach Road at one of my favorite spots. It's called Young Daily. It's just a small cafe truck. They open at seven in the morning. A lot of times I'll go to the gym really early in the morning and then come here, have a cup of coffee, read my book for a little bit, people watch, and then head on back to the room. Today I didn't get coffee. I got a mango smoothie. So I'm gonna do exactly that. Sit here, read my book, chill out for a little bit, and watch the world go by. What's going on, friends? It's another beautiful day out here in Thailand. I'm headed up to Bangkok. It's Bangkok. We gonna go on to Bangkok, y'all. I guess I'm gonna go over here and get myself a CVIT and a psych eval. What's going on, friends? I'm out here in the Kong Patong. And it is hot as Ava Mendez out here. I'm telling you, it's boiling. We got a 100 kilometer race tomorrow. From what I understand, it's pretty much gonna take place on a new stretch of interstate. So we're not gonna have any shade cover. I'm gonna have to take some Gaviscon for sure to make sure I don't cramp up. From what I understand, the total amount of people coming is 3,000. Anyway, I'm gonna get down here, see if I can get my packet. All right, I picked up my bib and my number. Ton of different vendors out here selling jerseys, bibs, bikes, wheels, accessories, glasses, whatever you need, they got it out here. A lot of the shops that I'm seeing have things at 50% off. They're just trying to move some of their inventory is what it looks like. Shimano had a service station set up. You need to get a quick tune before the race tomorrow. I also found what I'm looking for, some goo. I need some energy gels for tomorrow. I believe that mandarin orange will work. And maybe one strawberry banana. Man, I'm telling y'all, it is blazing hot out here. It's ridiculous. I tried to check in my hotel earlier, but she was like, no, nah, you can't check in until two. So I'm gonna go back over there now. Hopefully they'll let me check in. All right, y'all, I made it to my room. This is the proud exclusive hotel in Nakon Patong. I really only booked this suite because it said king size bed but this room is freaking massive. Huge living space with a flat screen, got a fridge and a kettle over there, bathroom, separate bedroom. It's a whole lot of space in here. I don't need all this space, but whatever. 94 bucks for two nights, so you might as well just say 50 bucks a night. I'm gonna unpack, get my stuff laid out for in the morning, and then I'm gonna go out and try to find something to eat because I'm starving. All right, y'all, I left that spot where I got my burger. That was a cool little joint, good music. That burger was awesome, homemade bun. i go back. I might, in fact, go back tomorrow. But I came out here to cold cups, ice cream, and more. Got myself some vanilla ice cream with caramel sauce, and I'm fighting 9,000 freaking flies, getting on my freaking nerves all the freaking time. Why are you telling them about going to cold cups like you special? I got cold cups too. Vanilla and caramel. And don't nobody care about you fighting flies. Maybe if you took a shower and you didn't stink, you wouldn't have to fight flies. Man. Apparently I am extremely tired and delirious. So I'm gonna finish my ice cream and take my behind back to the room, take a shower, and go to bed. I'll holler at y'all. All right, friends, March 31st, we're going to get out here, Nakon Patong. 
do this 100k ride we got jack and thomas over here i believe thomas was born in 1968 jack was born in 1969 i guess i'm the oldest out of the bunch because i was born in 1810 30k in 38 kilometers an hour i can hold that they pushed it up to 42 44 i can't hold that for that long i got dropped 48.9k in they got a little rest station right here with some water there's a ton of cyclists right here so i can't tell if they have energy gels or anything like that but i'm gonna top off my water bottles when i hit 45k ben and jack i seen them going back the other way already i didn't see thomas but regardless thomas is still ahead of me so i'm just gonna fill up my water bottles and then start the 50k back to the start line 97 and a half k it's not a proper 100k ride but finish line's right here my legs are dead Phil, how did you like your first real serious race? My first real serious race was not serious for me because I'm slow as shit. There were, according to my time slip, there was like 1,800 people and I finished in 3,073rd place. He lied. There was 1,904 and he finished like six something, 600 something. Yeah, I finished dead but Jack finished in the top 50 of all the women so she got a what's that oh number 11 she finished number 11 out of all the women what's going on friends I'm tired <laughs> I got done with that race came back to the room took a shower I thought I was going to go out and get something to eat I laid down for a minute, passed out for about an hour and a half. Then I went ahead and I got up. I went right back to that same burger spot that I went to yesterday, Wake and Bake. The burger I had there yesterday was awesome. And so I had that again today, but I also added a Caesar salad and some potato wedges and a large Chong beer. I'm a little bit disappointed with my performance in that race. The big sign says you are one of 3,000 people. But when I finished, it showed that I came in like 682 out of 1,500 and something. So you might wonder, well, where'd the other 1,500 people go? And I think what happens is sometimes people register and then they just don't show up. And then you also have people that don't finish the race because they get in an accident or they just find that the distance is too much for them and they have to call the broom wagon and get a ride back to the start finish line. I think those are a few things that factor into why that number was lower, but 680. 82. I can't remember the exact numbers. I'll put it up on the screen for you right now. So whatever that says, I just kind of felt like I could have done better. My average speed kept going down and down and down. And it's, it's disheartening, but basically I just said to myself, you know what, just finish the race. Who cares where you finish at? Just finish because I'm not getting paid to do this. You know, it's not like I ride for UAE or Yumbo Visma or Boar Hands Grow or it doesn't matter. But regardless, it was a great ride. I'll definitely do another one. It's always fun to ride with a huge group like that and to test where your fitness is. This spot right here, cold cups, ice cream and more. They give you this little cup of ice cream right here with caramel sauce. It's only 29 baht. You can't really beat that, I don't think. It's just enough to satisfy my sweet tooth without going overboard. I'm debating on whether or not to go across the street and get a massage, but Lynn, my masseuse in Pattaya from Relax Health Massage, she has me spoiled, man. I go to some of these other shops and I'm like, what are y'all doing? This is not a foot massage. This is you taking some oil and just rubbing it on my foot. Lynn actually massages your muscles, your calves, your hamstrings, your quads, the pressure points in your feet. She, she does a good job. I'm kind of at a point where I don't like giving other people my money because I'm always disappointed. I'm so sick of these flies, man. 
I'm not sure what time I'll get up in the morning to head back to Pattaya, but more than likely I will stop in Bangkok at a breakfast story and get breakfast before I head back. What's going on, friends? We out here at John Tien Night Market. Got a subscriber here, Mr. Jeff. How you doing, everybody? Huh? From Thailand. Supposed to meet a couple more friends out here, get us some dinner. So this was an evening during Songkran. And during Songkran, people will go to the temple and they'll make merit and bathe Buddha's statue. And then after that, they might even pour water on the hands of monks or elders and ask for their blessings. Sometimes establishments will set these Buddha statues up so that passers-by can pay their respects. Now, when it comes to the Jomtian market itself, there is a lot of variety when it comes to food. I don't remember what everyone else had, but I stopped at this stall and grabbed some spaghetti for 60 baht and a Coke. You'll find plenty of outdoor seating at the market. There's a very nice atmosphere in the evening. They turn on the string lights and sometimes they play music. If there are clear skies, it's an awesome place to watch the sunset. But if there are not clear skies, it's a great place to spot some cuties. What do you got? <laughs> well, let's see what's going on in the box of 20 bot notes today. That looks like there's plenty of play money in there. So let's grab some and head out and start planning a weekend trip to Bangkok. What's going on, friends? Beautiful Tuesday morning. I did not go on a bike ride today because I'm lazy. I figured I'd get up, run up to Bong San and get some coffee. Yeah. At least I think that's where I'm going. I might change my mind. We'll see. But I stopped here. This is the corner of Tapraya and Tepesit Road. This is expat car rental. I'm going to do the Rafa 100 women's ride in Bangkok. I did this same ride last year. I made a video about it called Bangkok style. So I invited a few more people and hopefully it'd be another good ride, but I need a vehicle because I'm gonna bring my bike and Ben Shaw's bike. I've rented from them before, good service, newer model vehicle, didn't have any issues with them at all. And so I decided to use them again. I rented what I guess you would consider a midsize SUV. It's a Suzuki XL7. So the total cost of the rental is 3,750 baht. When I pick the car up, I'll have to pay that full amount plus 7,000 baht deposit. Last time I did it, I only had to leave a 5,000 baht deposit. I guess they went up. It doesn't really matter to me because like I said, when I rented the last time, I didn't have any issues at all getting my money back. All right, friends, out here at Happy and Healthy Bike Lane, we are going to do two laps around the airport. Juicy girl! <laughs> Well, that was a good ride. Not too crazy. I can't check in my hotel until two o'clock and it's only 10 minutes after nine. So Ben told me come to his spot. I can take a shower there. We tried to take a shower here at the Sky Lane, but they had some big event going on. And so they said they closed the lounge. So we couldn't take a shower there. So I'm gonna ride over here, get myself a shower, and then we might go find something to eat. I love my life out here, y'all. I love the freedom to just go whenever I feel like it. Do what I want when I want. It's enjoyable. It's a life of very little stress. Now, the past year was a little stressful for me just simply because I was involved in that project with the Thai Link Language School. But it officially opened in August. And so that was a big weight off of my shoulders. While I'm headed over here to- In three kilometers, use the left lane to take exit one for Sakamwit 50. Okay, I'll make sure I do that loud mouth. Goodness gracious, I yell my ear off. While I'm headed over here to Ben's apartment, maybe I can show y'all what's going on at the Thai language school. What's going on friends? I would like to extend a loud and resounding welcome to Thai Link Language School. It's been a long time coming, but we are officially open as of August the 8th. Thai Link Language School has two classrooms. Classroom one is a little bit smaller and its intended use is for private lessons and smaller groups. The much larger classroom two can accommodate about 15 students. On the side of the building, we have space available to park your motorbike while you attend classes. 
and the entire facility is wheelchair accessible. So if you're interested in obtaining a education visa, if you'd like to learn Thai or French or even the English language, come on out to Thai Link Language School, have a seat in the executive room and let Nettie or one of her staff take care of you. Also, keep in mind that Nettie provides visa services of all types. If you need a retirement visa, marriage visa, family visa, you need 30 day reporting, 90 day reporting, you have an overstay, you want fast track once you land at the airport, whatever it is, come see Nettie, she can help you out. If you are here at Nettie's Visa Service and you need transportation down to the immigration office in Jom Tien, she can provide that for you. All right, friends, we're gonna head out here to the breakfast store. I left the vehicle parked at the big C because I'm not dealing with this traffic. So I called a boat motorbike. And that gentleman right there picked me up. All right, friends, I went in there and had myself a great breakfast. Three egg omelet, peppers and onions, goat cheese, cheddar cheese, tomatoes, sausage. It's really good. I traded my potatoes and toast for a green salad with some Japanese sesame dressing and a small little fruit cup. And I just had two glasses of soda water. Now I'm waiting on the boat, pick me up, bring me back over to the big sea so I can get the rental car and then head on out to my hotel and see if I can check in. What's going on there, friends? We out here for some dinner. Came to this spot here. Of course, I am not even gonna try to pronounce it. It's kind of a central location in between everybody's hotels, so we just decided to meet here. How are you, Rika? Can I get Hello. Miss Rika here. She decided to come join us this weekend because her husband is doing a triathlon. Right. So she decided to come up here to Bangkok. She brought Elena with her. Yes, sure, really. I even have the same color. I got the same one too, by the way. I have the same one too, by the way. That's It's like a good variety. But I was telling the good to you. She believed it too, I think. You see how good my voice was? She looked like she believed it. Let me figure out what I want to eat. All right, I ordered some crispy skin grilled chicken. It does look good. It says recommended right on the menu. And also when I was reading the review, somebody said that it was really good. I also ordered some shrimp cakes. Oh, that's so good. We're still waiting on Vicky and her husband, Ryan. They said they took the wrong road, so it'll be about 10 minutes late. <laughs> Ryan, you, you took the wrong road? Yeah. <laughs> she, she made sure to let us know it was you driving, huh? <laughs> She, did, she didn't say we took the wrong road. She said Ryan took the wrong road. <laughs> Ryan took the wrong road, okay? Ryan said it. I told him, Zero is right. You know, from the picture, right? Uh -huh. This way. But Ryan said, uh, I follow my feeling. I think this road is great. And then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she had to make sure she doesn't right, know. Ryan. Ryan. I think Jen there. <laughs> What did, <laughs> what did he do? He followed his feeling. Yeah, follow his feeling. Follow his feeling, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Nike, how to choose me. <laughs> now, I choose you the wrong. <laughs>
Well, that 100K ride didn't work out too well for me. About 20K in, and I got a flat, and I can't fix it. So I'm headed back to the hotel. Once I made it back to the hotel, I grabbed a quick shower and then I took a motorbike taxi to Lak Krabong Station. Now, this is a part of the airport rail link and that enabled me to use public transit to make my way over to the Silom BTS station. For those of you who follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you'll know that the week prior to the Rafa Women's 100 ride, I was on a carb fast. And so I walked to 25 Degrees, which is one of my favorite restaurants in all of Bangkok. As far as I'm concerned, they have the best burger in the city. And this is where I broke my carb fast. My go-to option is the number one, which is a 200 gram burger with caramelized onions, bacon, arugula, Thousand Island, and gorgonzola cheese. I added curly fries and a large chong beer, and I figured since my day didn't go the way I hoped it would, the best way to finish off my meal would be with a cappuccino. Sometimes things during the day don't go your way, and the only thing you can do is get yourself a hot cappuccino. Things are always better with a hot cappuccino. From there, I made my way back to Soy 8. I found a massage shop, got a pedicure, foot scrub, and foot massage for an hour and a half. And then I just hit multiple bars in Nana Plaza and Soy Cowboy before calling it an evening. The next morning, I packed up and began my journey back to Pattaya. What's going on, friends? Beautiful day out here in Thailand. I am on my way headed back to Pattaya, but I decided to stop here at Beast Coffee. This is a cafe that I've had on my list for quite some time, but I never come on this highway because I'm always on my motorbike. I take the back roads. Today, I've got the rental car, so I was on the highway. I said, I'll figure I'll try it today. Well, how about a caramel macchiato? Yeah, does that work? Yeah. All right. So they've got your typical pastries right here in the case, brownies, cookies. Is that banana bread? Yes. And a crofle. If I order food, how long is that gonna take? Not too long. Yeah. Less than 10 minutes. Okay. They have a QR code you can scan. They've got a whole menu here. Got pasta. They've got some Thai dishes. I'm gonna get myself some of this spaghetti. 229 baht. All right. Come on, God. You get me wrong. Let's be a good. She was supposed to give me one baht. She gave me five. Sorry. <laughs> I will complain and give me more money if you want to give me more money. It's fine. Okay, so what's your name again? Tao. Tao. Yeah. And you said you did an internship in? Uh, California, U.S. Okay. For, not for coffee or? Uh, I'm in the kitchen. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm uh, a culinary. Like culinary? Yeah. I can tell y'all the coffee was really good. I didn't finish my caramel macchiato yet, and that's because I'm gonna take one of these cookies or brownies or banana cake or something to go. Yes. I'm gonna say bye. I think I'm gonna try the banana bread. Yes, sir. So here, I'll take away. Take away. Got fun. What's going on, friends? It's a beautiful day out here in Pattaya. I am filming on my phone because I'm an idiot and I left my SD card for my GoPro in the room. I brought my whole camera rig, microphones, everything. Forgot the SD card sitting in my laptop. Anyway, gonna head on out to Kolarn today. Chill out for a little bit. This one over here keeps covering her face up. <laughs> she keeps saying it's too hot. Long night. <laughs> She's asking what time the ferry comes back to this pier. We're telling her six o'clock in the evening. So this here is Miss Ying. I met Miss Ying at the gym. I said, Ms. Ying, come on, let's go get some coffee. She said, I ain't finished my workout yet. Then we went and got some coffee at Starbucks. She said, I like going to uh, Kolar. I said, bye, let's go. She said, right now? I said, yeah, bye. She said, no, you, you strange man, I don't know you. You crazy. <laughs> I pee bye. <laughs> no, she went home. Took a shower, changed. I went home, took a shower, changed. Now we're on the ferry. 30 baht to bring you to Kolarn. 30 baht, come back to Pattaya. But they also have a bunch of vendors that are gonna try to get you to get on a speedboat. Should be about 150 baht, one way. 
per person. So up to you. You can pay 60 baht for one person round trip or 300 baht round trip for one person. Either way, it's really not that expensive. She bought me a bottle of water. How much was the water? Is that right? You sit baht. You sit baht. 20 baht. For two. Oh, so That's 10 baht a piece. Where are we going at over here in Kolar? What, what part of the island are we gonna go to? Um, what side? <laughs> she doesn't speak a lot of English. <laughs> All right, she said we're going to Hot Nuan. Yeah. Hot Looks Nuan. like it's on the southeast part of the island. I've been to Koh Lanta a couple times, but I've never been to that part of the island. So I guess she's gonna show me something different today. Have good cafe or restaurant. Oh yeah. Me, Ahantai. Me, Cafe, doi. Nung song sam si ha hook je bad gao sip. That's one through ten. So you would think, okay, it's easy for the hours of the day, but they add a little something to it. So it's by nung, by song, by sam. Which is weird because by also means like let's go. But whatever. So by nung, by song, by sam. Then when you get to four, it's si mung yin, ha mung yin, hook mung yin. But then when you get to seven, which if you were counting, it's Ched. But if you talking about the time, it's Ning Tung. Ning Tung? Ning Tung. I forget. I were, tried to remember it to take this in one shot. And she said, I think five minutes you forget. <laughs> yeah. I think 30 seconds I forget. Yeah. yeah. It's too much, man. You gotta take it in small doses, a little bit here, a little bit there, and just try to practice it as much as you possibly can. Force yourself to use words that you know, even if you have to mix it with English. And what it does, for me anyway, it stimulates the brain waves and it gets to a point where it comes naturally for you. But my problem is I don't study enough. How many hours do you work out this morning? I think she was there longer than an hour. She was there when I got there and we left at the same time. So I think I was there an hour and 45 minutes. Something like that. Anyway, I'm saying that because when we left, we had a cup of coffee. That's it. So she's sitting here saying she's hungry. And I'm like, yeah, I'm hungry too. I'm starving. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember. You, you she done told me. I she didn't tell me so much stuff since we've been on that boat. I don't remember half the stuff she said. I tell you, look, 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 Kataya. Yeah. You, you, you remember? With the hotel? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this beach is nice. It's kind of quiet over here. There's still tours here, but nowhere near as many as where you come in on the boat or the other beach that I was on on the other side of the island. This one's pretty quiet. The beach is clean too. Kao Pad Gai. Kao Pad Gai. What did I say? Kao Pad Gai. I said Pad Mun Gai. Hmm? I said Pad Mun Gai. Pa it's Kao Pad, Kao Pad, Pad Gai. Gai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered some fried prawns. She ordered uh, chicken fried rice. And I got a soda water and a Coke. Well, I got a soda water. She got a Coke. Y'all just seen that. She paid for the drinks. Thank you. I paid for my drink. As soon as the food came, that joker came over here. This one right here devoured her entire plate of chicken fried rice. She didn't offer me any. She didn't share. No, she, she did offer. I didn't want any. I know I shouldn't have ate them fried prawns 
because they're loaded with carbs, but I don't care. I should care because today I was supposed to start back on my no carbs. Oh well, we're just gonna vibe out. If I would have thought better of it, I would have brought my book. I could have sat here and read my book for a little bit. She said she's gonna go to sleep for a minute. Sleepy face. What about you? What are you gonna do? Huh? You want a prawn? I'll give you one of my prawns. Here. Come here. I already gave you one, Greedy. Freaking bird just shit on my head, man. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> the shit on her head. We'll see if she's still laughing. What are you afraid I'm gonna do? What are you afraid of? I'm feel, I'm feel you get boo. Burr. Burr. <laughs> she, she's asking me Burr. if I want to stay longer or if I want to go back. And I told her, it's not that I'm indecisive. I'm a, I can make up my mind, but in a setting like this where we're just chilling out on the beach, I don't care. If you want to go back, we can go back. If you want to stay, we can stay. We just sit here chilling. She said, I'm afraid that you're going to get bur bored. Burr. So we walked over here, got on the sun towel. It's 30 baht per person to get us back to the pier. She walked over here and got some ice cream. She asked me if I wanted one. I told her no. But then I just tried it. So I think maybe I need to walk back over here and get one. Cause I'm a fat boy. Hey, Noi. My alka. How much? It's all right. 150. Roy Hasip. Roy Hasip, yeah. My pink. Pink mark. Pink mark. My, which one? Pink mark or my pink? My pink. My pink. Not expensive. 150. My pink. Little buddy was walking the other way. Right as soon as I turned the camera off, you should have seen the look on his face. We well, seen this sticker on my forehead. He was looking like, what the heck? I told y'all, man, I'm silly. 7-Eleven runs these little promos sometime where they give you stamps. For every 80 baht you spend, they give you a stamp. And then they give you this book right here. Show them the book. They give you that book and you're supposed to match the stamps up to whatever on the book. Now, they look like stamps. Show them. Let's see. Right here. Right here. That looks like a stamp to me. So I was trying to wet it and put it on the paper. And I was like, why is this not working? Well, it's because that yellow thing on the back, you peel it off and then stick it. Michael <laughs> Jai. Put on this side. Yes. Okay. So that booklet has two sides. One side is for one box stickers. The other side is for three box stickers. She was showing me the difference. Once you get it full, you can take that booklet to 7-Eleven and they have some stuff that you can buy with those stamps. I just thought it was funny that the whole time I thought it was an actual stamp that you, you know, lick and put on the paper. I'm like, this don't work. And then she took them and was like, I can put them on there. And she just ripped the yellow thing off the back. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm a goober because they're just peeling stick. She was asking me about my apartment and she wanted to know how much I pay per month. I told her 12,000 and she was like, I think that's kind of high for John Tien. And I explained to her that I signed my contract during high season. So yes, it is a little bit high, but I don't mind paying the extra because I like the space. 
and I like the location. It's pretty quiet here. Um, there's a couple weed shops right here. And so because of that, you do have a couple people that like to sit out and they smoke and they talk and sometimes they get a little bit loud. But honestly, it's really not that big of a deal. There's the food vendors that are right across the street and I'm close to John TN Beach. It's just a good spot for me, so I don't mind paying the little bit extra. Anyway, I asked her about her room and she said that she pays 3000 per month mm -hmm. for the room. And it's just one room with a bathroom. She doesn't have a kitchen, she doesn't have a washing machine, she doesn't have a balcony, she doesn't have air con, she just has a fan. So 3000 per month is her rent. And then she says she pays 150 baht for water and about 500 baht for electric. So that just gives you guys an idea of the difference between how foreigners usually live. You know, we like our creature comforts versus how a lot of Thai people live. There's a drastic difference. So you can, if you're comfortable living like that, you can find rooms that are 3,000, 4,000 a month. Or you can spend 8,000, or you can spend 12,000, or you can spend 50,000. It's just, it's up to you what your budget is, what your likes and dislikes are, what your standard of living is as a person. And nobody can answer that except for you. What do you think about John Tien? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think uh, it's not good. good. Better? Mm -hmm. Not a little better mm -hmm. than jumped in? Far. She says Nakula is better because she lives in Nakula. Yes. But if you really think about it, Central Pattaya, you have Nakula is north and you have jumped in, which is south. They're about the same distance. If you stayed in Jom Tien, you're going to travel about the same amount of distance to Central Pattaya as you would if you're traveling from. No, actually, I think that's a lie. Jom Tien's further. She's right. Because I'm, I'm just thinking about where her where I dropped her off at her room. And it's pretty close to Terminal 21. So. Uh, I like uh, not good, uh, have some towel. Jom Tien have too. <laughs> she said sometimes she runs um, from Nakula to Pratamnak and then she'll get coffee and then she'll run back to yeah. Nakula. You don't take Sung Tao from Jamtin or from Pratamnak back home. You don't take Sung Tao. No. You run. Yeah. Oh. Run. Sip kilo meat. Yeah, I think about. I think. Baman, about I can't. Baman. I told her I can't run. <laughs> I ride my bike, but I can't run worth a crap. It's weird. I can ride 150 kilometers or 170 kilometers in one day, but you put me on a treadmill and tell me to run 10 kilometers, I'm going to die. I'm going to pass out. What is that? Huh? <laughs> 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 All right. Bye, Gene Cow now. Hugh Cow. <laughs> How many times have you said that today? Hugh Cow. How many times today? Hugh Cow. Hugh Cow. Yeah. How many times? How many times? Yeah. Today I eat one. Yeah. One time. Right? How many times have you told me that you are hungry today? <laughs> two times. Two times. Uh. Two times. But today eat two one one time. Jing la. Jing. Okay. We're gonna go up here to. I guess that's Nakula. Nakula. What's surf, it called? Surf and turf. Surf and turf. Surf and turf. Somebody told me about this place a long time ago, and I had it marked on my Google Maps as a place that I want to go. I've just never gone. So we were on the way back and she was saying she was hungry and I was saying I was hungry. We were waiting on them to tell us which speedboat to get on. We were gonna get on the ferry, 
But as we got almost to the end of the pier where the ferry was, the ferry was leaving. <laughs> and we would have had to wait like another hour for the next one to come or half hour. So she doesn't know what I'm saying because I'm talking too fast. If I talk slow, she can understand some. <laughs> but if I talk super fast, she don't understand. <laughs> anyway, we didn't catch the ferry because the ferry was leaving. So I just said, screw it. We'll take the speedboat. So that was 300 baht for both of us to get back. Then jumped on the motorbike. I came back here to the room because I needed to wash the sand and stuff off my feet and my flip or my uh, sandals. So yeah, we're going to run up here to Surf and Turf in Nakula and see what they got to grub on, man. Well, their menu is deep. Breakfast, Thai food. You want they got some salads, you sandwiches, want, and burgers. You want to eat Thai food or Italian? Milo. I don't know if I want Thai food or if I want something else. They got pizza, pasta, lobster. <laughs> they got everything here, man. Right on the beach. It's nice. Trying to sell me the lottery. What's that? No. <laughs> Get it if that's what you want. I don't want it though. I out. I don't even know why I bother looking at the menu. I order the same stuff every time. Chicken with cashew nut, Thai omelet, masaman guy, stir fried cabbage, even though I haven't had that in quite a few months because the last time I ate it, I got sick. I'm not big on seafood. It's kind of weird because seafood is incredibly abundant here of course but i really don't eat a lot of it i had those fried prawns earlier today that's the first little bit of seafood i've had in a pretty good while but i did see chicken and cashew nut so maybe i'll get that and my diet is completely destroyed today so at this point why even try to not drink something i'm not supposed to and why not order dessert why not Stick my finger in your nose. <laughs> she wants me to try this love yes, moo. Yes. I have to be careful when they say, is it spicy? Because Thai spice, sometimes it takes a minute for it to kick in. It's not bad though. And then, yeah, it's fine. Papaya salad. Not spicy. Papaya salad. See what happens when you try new things. That's really good. I've never had it because I always thought that they make it spicy all the time. I never thought to ask for it. My pet. My pet. I'll order that. That's really good. And that lob mu, lob. I would order that again too. You order it again? Yeah. Oh, lob, lob guy. Lob guy. Lob guy. What's that? Cucumber? Mmm. And you can't tie? No, mm -mm. Heck no. Nah. Trying to get me to eat that freaking chili. Fuck that. <laughs> you want some? Yeah. Uh, thank you. Maple. What's this? Chili. 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 So what are you talking about, my pet? That big old chili in there. I've never had to say my pet for the cashew chicken. They never make it spicy, but they got some chilies in here that I've never seen before. So let me maybe be careful. I love it when they put these huge chunks of pepper in there. Really good. Green pepper and red pepper. But then they've got this chili in here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Chili. We're about to find out if this is spicy. It's not spicy. Hmm? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Man, I'm telling y'all right now, the highlight of this meal for me is this papaya salad. It is so good. It's refreshing. You stole my coat? 
She just stole my coke. <laughs> Don't steal my coke, Brad. I, I need too much. Uh. Go ahead. You gonna bring another one? You order? Yeah. Yeah. You order? No. For you. Oh. I'm sitting here talking smack saying she stole my coke. But that's not what happened. She told him to put the coke over there with her so she could pour it for me. Thai women do that. They're attentive to little small things. I like it. So. I think that there are some people that watch videos about Thailand. Or... Now see, here I was just talking nice about you. And then you go and do that. <laughs> bye, bye, Louie. <laughs> no, really, you know, they do stuff like that. And, you know, some people, they watch Thailand videos or maybe they even watch my videos and some of my interactions and they might think, oh, they're all a certain way or they think I'm having to do something in order to get them to act that way. No. What you see is what's happening. I, for those of you that have watched enough of my videos, y'all know I ain't on no BS, man. I, I ain't with the flodge. All right. We're going to finish eating. Maybe I'll come back whenever we get some dessert. All right, we didn't get dessert because it looks like it's starting to rain. So I just paid the tab. Now we headed out. Tell them I'll let y'all in the next one, man.